Hey everyone, I am Grant Faulkner and I am here today to invite you to my class, Five Things I Learned About the Art of Brevity. And I had an interesting journey to the art of brevity. I started out writing big, long mammoth novels. Still love writing those novels, but I discovered um, writing little tiny hundred word stories or flash fiction, flash fiction defined as anything under 1000 words. So short stuff. And I have uh, five things that I'm going to go over in the class. More than that, actually, but here are five things to think about. Uh, the art of omission, how a story works with silences and uses white space, and how you can do that. You use the white, with white space and silences and what's not on the page to, to amplify and tell your story. And then concision. You know, there's, a, there's an I irony in, 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 in tiny constraints bring out, uh, ironically, they kind of enhance your creativity. Uh, so we're going to talk about um, concision and these little containers that the stories go into. A lot of people ask me with 100-word stories, is, can you write a 100-word story? It, it, you know, that will it have a beginning, middle, and end, a traditional plot? And the answer is yes. You don't have to use that traditional plot, but yes. So we're going to talk about plot structure for, for these tiny tales. And then uh, the fourth thing is collage. You know, I am um, a frustrated poet at heart. And this form allows me to be lyrical on the page and to, to, to write in different forms. And I, I am a born collagist with words and images. And so we're going to talk about how to, how to tell a story through collage. And then if you're, if, you're, if you're thinking, no, this isn't for me because I write longer forms, uh, writing short, this short stuff has informed my longer work. So I write my, no, my long novels uh, more in this kind of elliptical uh, constrained, uh, fragmentary way. And so we're going to talk about how the short stuff can influence your longer forms and how it influences the, 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 the form of the novel called the novella. So I look forward to talking uh, with you about all of this and more. And thank you for signing up for my class because I know you did.